everybody, it's Jacqueline Kane, the Stop the Pain Specialist, and I am here today in my office with my assistant, Sherry, from Tranquility Makeup and Skin Care. And today, you know, so many people ask me, what do I do and how do I help people get out of pain? And I want to give you a visual because we all need visuals to help us understand what people do. So I have a glass jar, which this is your brain. This is your subconscious. And I have a lot of marbles. So these marbles actually represent when you're a child and you're dreaming and you have all those gifts and those aspirations of things you want to do and those dreams. So these marbles represent your dreams in life. That little child, that little boy, that little girl who, <laughs> um, who has lots of dreams and aspirations and wants to maybe become a baseball player or soccer player or, you know, really help people in the world. And then these are going to represent the traumas in life. So there you are, you're born and you have all these dreams when you come into this world. And maybe you're two, three years old and your brother or sister like knock you down. That's your first trauma. And I'm going to call them just little traumas. You know, we have big traumas and little traumas, but sometimes when that those little traumas happen, they still affect us and they're still in our subconscious. So maybe you grew up a little bit more and when you were five years old, you were so afraid to be in school, but they told you you have to go and you had no choice. Maybe when you were in third grade, nobody picked you to be on their team. So that goes in there. And remember all these stories, all these events, are in your subconscious mind. And they're playing that story and that tape and that movie over and over again without us knowing. So, um, any other stories? Let's see, how about you had this crush on this boy in third grade and he said he didn't like you. Or maybe you got made fun of, or maybe you didn't fit in. By the teacher. Mm -hmm. Or anybody and it's hurtful, it stays with you, definitely. All those times those girls got together and they left you out. Um, for the little boys, you were, um, you didn't hit that ball, right? Not as good as sports. And they made fun of you. And it was all your fault because you lost the team. You lost the game. You lost the series. Then you got into high school and there was even more competition. And you didn't get on that choir team, the, on the choir or the band. And you thought you were awesome and you didn't make it. And all your friends made it. And then you created beliefs around that and stories, um, beliefs that your subconscious mind are proving true over and over again since that day. So let's see what else could have happened. Um, you graduate high school and, and you didn't get into the college you wanted. You went to college and then you just didn't fit in. So all these traumas are in here. And I'm sure we all have even extra ones. So I'm putting more. So remember these are big traumas and little traumas. And they're all in your subconscious mind. Okay, so this is where my assistant comes in. So, as you turn this on on your subconscious mind, so you can hold that. When somebody comes to me and we're 30, we're 40, we're 50 years old, 60, and we're in severe pain, and I help them uncover why and unpack why they're in pain and why they've tried everything and nothing is working. Well, as we start, for example, a woman last night. She was in severe pain and soon after we started the session, she was still holding pain from when her son, 10 years ago, discovered he had cancer. So we were healing that part of her, that story, the sadness. We let go of the sadness. We go back and we heal, you know, the fact that you always felt left out, that you never got invited to parties. And what did you believe about yourself then? That you don't matter. And we heal that part of you. 
we heal that little boy who was made fun of because he couldn't hit the ball. And he was always the last one to get picked. We heal that part so that you know you do matter and that you do have amazing gifts for the world. And we want to see them. People need you to live your gifts and your dreams. We heal... And I'm not bashing on moms. I love moms. I'm a mom myself. But some of us at times can be closed off and hearted. So all those times you didn't get the love you needed as a child. And we send love to your mom and we heal that part of you. We heal your heart. We heal that. We heal all the uncomfortableness of being in school and not getting the right attention. We heal the part that you feel unsupported and there's no help in your life. Woo, our dreams are coming out. <laughs> we heal all, let's see. Um, we heal the part of us that feels it needs to be perfect. And we get used to being ourselves so that we love ourselves unconditionally. And we heal the part of us that is so wounded um, because it made mistakes. And we let it know that it's okay to make mistakes. <laughs> I didn't know my job was so hard. <laughs> I, oh, see, that one didn't want to get healed. It took a one. long time that's to heal, right? One. So it's not just one session. It comes over and it keeps coming up. But we go at it, we go at it, we go at it, and we heal it, and we let it go. And sometimes when we do all that healing, all of these heal and let go all at the same time. And then guess what? All your dreams and aspirations somehow make it down your channel so that you get to live your life on your terms and speak up for yourself and set your own boundaries and say no to other people, which is a yes to you. So I hope that makes sense. I'd love for you to leave a comment and if you have any pain, I'd love to talk to you. And again, thank you, Sherry, for being here. You're welcome. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. And I gotta go over here and turn this off this way.